want to do that? And frequently with kids who are, are saying, well, they've got this, and I thought, okay, fine. What do you want to do about it? How important is it really to you to have that, to be that way? And because you know if you say, tell them, it doesn't really matter. What are they going to do? They're going to throw, you know, they're, they're, they're oh, the mom just doesn't understand. And to us, it doesn't matter. We accept you for who you are. Good point. But then we want to explore why does it matter to them and what do you want to do about it? You won't have all the answers. But you know, you're not supposed to have the answers. Who needs to come up with the answers? Well, I've gotten the response of what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on a diet so I can Great. Okay. Let's do it healthily. As your mother, I want to model healthy yeah. dieting. Because that's going to happen. And if you don't do it with them in a healthy way, they're going to be doing the pooping in the toilet and taking the x lax etc. Go for it. Okay, let's all get healthy. And I'm going to help you. Support them in those changes. Because you're empowering them. You're empowering them to look at any challenge that they, they, that they face in life. And to say, I can be whoever I choose to be. My identity is my identity. But what you're also teaching them, it takes form. You know, some girls are born with that body type, that model body type, and it's just hardwired. You know, um, I got one kid that was born really petite, the size of this, and I got one that she's called Baby Huey. And you know what? Baby Huey's a great girl. That's a loving and dear thing, but my girls are very, very out there. She always knows I'm very confident. But the key is, you, you, you just come the way you are, and eventually you accept yourself, or you change yourself. And most, what you want to not to do is tell them they can't do either.